Hello, everybody. This is Noah and John, and we are from Urban Digs, and it is Monday, so you're going to get your Brooklyn weekly market update, Johnny. Let's get right to it. I'm looking at Brooklyn supply. This is now full supply. We did the data regenerations and all those data updates we've been talking about, 3,422. Yep. Johnny, show me that chart. Yeah, and that's down a little bit. That's down 2% for the week before, which is down 2% for the week before that. So, I mean, Brooklyn supply, we've seen last few weeks really, I mean, if you're going back to mid-June, early June, it's been just slowly, slowly drifting down, but not quite fast, slow, yeah. just slow drift. Yeah, it's doing, it's kind of doing what Manhattan's doing. It's doing the opposite of what yeah. other markets are doing that are correcting. It's going the other way. Mm -hmm. um, not what buyers want to see, but it is what it is. Let's move over to the demand, Johnny. Pending sales, 2,746. Show me that chart. Yeah, and this one's actually going sideways. So it's down 1.4% this week. It was actually up, you know, 1.3% this week. You know, so it's it's one week up, next week down. We're basically just going sideways here, uh, tre treading water uh, as far as Brooklyn demand goes. Well, I mean, that's that's strong considering. I would expect us to go down in pending sales with the shift that we've just been through. But the fact that we're going sideways is is telling in and of itself, yeah. that, um, given the time of the calendar year that we are in. Um, and I just want to point out the market pulse for Brooklyn, right? That this, this was over one. This did now reset. All right, it did shift lower to a different absolute value, a lower absolute value after we did that update because there's more inventory being counted. But if you look at the chart, the trends, it is still, again, very much the similar trend and it's still a seller's market um, signal in this market. Everything just yeah. shifted lower. I want to make be very clear about that, um, that the trend did not change when, when looking at these chart updates, Johnny. And let's go over to the weeklies right now and see if there's any clues in the Brooklyn market. Uh, I'm looking at supply. It looks down 171 things. Show me that chart. Yeah, I mean, we're sort of at the lows of the year here, right? 171, the week before 190. Yeah. So it's, you know, we're down 10% from that. And it's just, you know, you have to go back really, I think there was the July 4th week, week, but other than that, you have to go back to like early January, sort of the, the end of the year, uh, New Year holidays to see the last time we're at this level in terms of new supply on a weekly level in Brooklyn. Yeah, and at this pace, you know, you know, I, again, you're you're not going to see much of a change until I'm going to guess after Labor Day, and even then, it's going to take a few weeks to really ramp up. So, um, you know, October is when you're going to probably see the next bulk month of of new listings coming on, which means you got to get through August and you got to get through September, um, just to let you know in case you're on the buy side and you're trying to plan accordingly. Um, let's move over to demand, Johnny. Brooklyn demand contract sign for the week, 134 things. That's down as well. Show me that chart. You know, it is down as well. But when you zoom out, right, you can see, you know, Brooklyn had kind of, you know, slowed down really into early July and it's kind of bounced back up since then. So, you know, one of the things you we were talking about last week for Manhattan is, is that first wave of bouncing, is that first wave of selling over? I mean, it looks like we we may have seen a bit of a bounce here, but, you know, we're, we're ticking down from the week before. Um, no, it's summer and you're looking at the 2021 yeah line there, which is right above it. And if that's any indication, right, I mean, we're going to be sideways to down uh, really until October here. Yeah, there's not much to talk about. All right. So I guess we'll be doing these weekly updates and we'll just um, consider it, it, it not much to talk about. Let's let's go over to take a look and see if there's um, a lack of something that people are talking about. I keep getting asked this. Is there any panic? Now, is, there any pa is there any fear going on? And I just don't see it, Johnny. And this chart that we're looking at here, this is a measure of um, weekly uh, look at in a weekly look at inventory, and then we're going to look at how many price cuts there were that week, right? And the reason we like to do that week to week is if there was a shift in the market, and if sellers were were fearful, you're going to see a big spike up. You're going to see a big spike right. up, like it was kind of like what was going on in 2021, which is strange because that's not really the fear of the market, right? I mean, 2020 was the fear of the market, and it went down, which tells me that sellers wanted nothing to do with the market at all during the closing of the market. Um, but here we are, we're right in the middle of this of these two lines right here. And I, I just don't see anything that tells me sellers are just en masse lowering their prices. Yeah, I think that's exactly the, the takeaway here, which is that, you know, we've seen markets left and right slowing down. And you would think, oh gosh, if you know if I'm a buyer, I'm just going to sit back and wait for these price cuts to roll in. And that is just not what's happening here. I mean, yeah. know, this is a sort of a rolling four-week average of, of what the price cut situation looks like, right? And we're up for what, maybe four-ish, four and a half percent of the inventory is getting a price cut yeah. every, every week on on, a, on average. It's not a lot, Noah. It's just not a lot. Yeah. I mean, I looked at all the data, Johnny. I looked at all the active data in Brooklyn and I and I did those had a price cut in their history but but as far as like a big en mass a whole bunch of sellers just doing it all at once 
that's what this chart is showing us and that's what this chart is telling us is not happening so it's an interesting yeah. viewpoint nonetheless to take a look at what's going on in the brooklyn market it kind of jives with everything else that we've looked at today this is just a slow season and as far as i'm concerned it's still a sell side bias market in brooklyn johnny um Thank you, Johnny, for pulling up all those charts. I am Noah Rosenblatt. That is John Walker. We are both from Urban Digs. Don't forget, you guys got questions. We got answers. Visit our forum right down here. If you want any of the reports that Johnny whipped up today, they'll be right over here in just a few minutes. Um, if you've never tried Urban Digs before, what are you waiting for? Try it right now. Two weeks free. Register up. Until then, this has been your Brooklyn Weekly Market Update, and we'll catch you next time.